Well, hello, my lovely nestlings, and welcome to <coughs> an almost full face of Colourpop. Yes, I'm going to play with Colourpop today. I have the Legend of Korra collection. I have blushes, bronzers, and I have the new brushes from Singe. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm from the Netherlands, hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage. I love spooky stuff, makeup, and being creative. Slightly orcish means I'm green. I'm a light to light medium warm-ish olive. And a relatively vintage means I'm 47. I also have ADHD and I'm autistic. So you never know what you're gonna get with me. Yes, oh, my net to the... Like that. <coughs> So I, as I said, I have a bunch of stuff from Colourpop and I was like, let me just do a Colourpop video because I can. And I really wanted to try out the new collection from Legend of Korra. So I have <coughs> everything here, the complete collection. I have already done my um, foundation and that is kind of it. So because I also pulled a bronzer and a blush from Colourpop and I'm just going to put that on. So let's start with the bronzer for funsies, which is the shade Summerland Beach. I actually don't know if it's a correct shade for me, but we will see. Let's use you. Let's use you. It's a little bit too... I almost want to say orange. Which is fine. That's the trouble with me being an olive. Bronzers are can be very very finicky, but it's all okay. Something like that, something like that. Yes. So uh, the shade of blush that I pulled is the shade Papaya. Can I open? Because I was like, I think that will look cute with the the the. Highlighter. Wow, it was apparently a little bit difficult today. I'm just tapping that on. That's kind of cute. Something like that. Yes, okay. <coughs> The highlighter from the collection, it's called Spirit Wilds and it's a super shock highlighter from Soul Body. Now, the only thing is though, I have always, I always have trouble opening these up. Honestly, usually I just um, put my nails in between, but I have fake nails on right now. So that I'm working. <laughs> Let me grab something else. Thank you. And I have worn this one a few times already. I just really, really like it. And then I just love to basically <coughs> put it on top of my blush as well. Let's already put a lippy on. I am actually going to use... I, I did wear the shade... What's it called? Partner in Crime. I did wear that shade. But for what I kind of want to create now, I'm just going to put on the other one, which is the shade Loyal Friend. I really do enjoy the lip creams from Colourpop. I think it's a very, very nice formula. So, yeah. Okay, so that's the lippy done as well. Yes, let's put you there. <coughs> let's get an eye base. The eye base I'm going to use is from Essence. Fun fact is I haven't been doing a lot of makeup the last lately. Uh, just basically kind of foundation and then, you know, my brows and a little bit of mascara. But honestly, I'm actually quite enjoying having a very minimal makeup on. So I don't know who I'm becoming, but I am going to try out the brushes from Singe as well. Let's zoom in a tad. Me. Kind of like that. Go down a little bit and um, yeah, just, just play. So the Legend of Korra eyeshadow palette, they did send this to me in PR. Uh, and I've also been watching 
the series as well. What do I want to create though? Hmm. Something fiery, I think. Yes, I, I think I I think I'm just going to I don't know, play here because I want I really do want to do that. So I am actually going to start with the shade called Air Bending, which is the yellow matte. And it really fits with the color of the brushes. So I'm starting with the uh, shape, the E05 or E05. Let's kind of put that here. Oh, that's a nice yellow. Not too shabby. I am very much building up this yellow because I am kind of green, as I, as I mentioned. Uh, it can warp a little bit of on me, so that's just why I'm very much packing on this shade. Okay, next I'm going to go to... Let's go to the biggest one, which is uh, the 03 for the shade well, Balance, I believe. Yes, let's go to that one. And just kind of lightly... Place the shadow and kind of set the eye base at the same time. Back to the previous brush with a little bit of the yellow. They kind of have, on the brushes I mean, they kind of have the stiffness of real hair brushes but they're very soft and they pick up product very nicely they distribute it very um, very nicely as well so not patchy but I can I can kind of feel that they are um, pulling the shadow if that makes any sense Okay. Same um, brush, same shade, just a little bit more. I'm going to put it a little bit lower. And I'm using the tip of the brush to very much get into the eye socket part area thingy. And then use the tips of the bristles. blend it up. Oh, that's nice. I want it a little bit more um, built up. I'm still using the same shade balance, that orange. Okay, I'm going to go to the next brush. Let's go to this one, which is the E01 for the shade Fire Bending, which is the red. I think this will also work very nicely as a shimmer brush, this one. I like that it's small and that it's basically for me small enough to fit here in the outer corner. Okay, I want to go to the shade, shall I go to Pro Bender, which is a darker gray or something like that. Let's just, for funsies, try that one. They pick up shadow very, very well. Okay, um, I think it's shimmer time. Let's go for it. So let's grab the duochrome, multi-chrome thingamajingy in, I think it's air. Let's use it for funsies. Just going to do that. And then get a brush. Let's get a brush and just See if we can kind of maybe we can build it 
up a little I actually don't usually use stuff like this like this does that make sense? I usually just um, use these as liners for instance but I was like let's just it's pretty it is I'm actually going to go to the shade um, this one which is a rebirth and I'm actually going to use the this duochrome as kind of shimmer base. I'm just going to press it in. Because why not? Let's just have fun today. There's also kind of a greeny in there, but you don't really see it on me. So I'm actually going to go to the shade Endgame. And I'm going to use just the same brush. And let's put that then here. I like that? I don't know. It's nice and sparkly though. Hmm. Okay. Shade Spirits. That's a little bit better. Yes, I'm aware that you don't see anything of the, the dual chrome anymore, but that's okay. I'm going to go to the shade Future Industries, which is a super shock. I'm actually not using the shimmer primer right now. Let's use this one, which is the fire on the lower lash line, because I can. I am grabbing a brush though for that. Cool. Let me kind of finish off that eye and I'll be right back. I used both eyeliners as well. I used the shade, what is it? The the brown, I cannot read it, but the dark brown one just kind of as a wing. And then to give some accents, I used the light blue one uh, in the inner eye part area and just below the wing on the outer eye part area. Uh, and in my waterline, I chucked one of the shadow sticks from Colourpop in the shade Flex. I think so, it's kind of, Kind of a dirty, goldeny, greeny, whatever. Um, lips you already know. And I have no falsies on. I just used a few coats of mascara. So yeah, I really do like how it turned out. I really do like it. So let me kind of go over everything that I use. Uh, let's start with the lippy. Yeah, I love the lippies. I love the... Uh, what are they called? The Fresh Kiss Lip Creams. I think they're very, very nice. Now I have actually worn this one and it's... It's nice. It's not a color that I go for often, but it is still wearable for me. So yeah, but this this is just a color that I gravitate towards very, very much so. So I really do enjoy the lippies. I think that the highlight is also very pretty. Yeah, what can I say? I just, I just wish it was easier to open. That's what she said. Um, what else? Let's go to um, let's go to the to to these first. So I actually also put one on my lower lash line, and that's usually and uh, that's this one, the the fire one. That's actually how I use these mostly because usually I just use these as colored liners or um, kind of eye eye pencil esque, you know, in the waterline and such. That's how I use it. I do have to say that this one. Uh, that I use here, I kind of built up again over the um, shimmer shadow and I should not have done that because it kind of chips away a little bit here. So for me, uh, I need to use these a little bit sheer. Now there are more of the, a lot of brands have these. Um, what I like about these is that they are minis. That's what I very much like about them. Um, yeah, that's kind, that's kind of it. I usually don't use them like this what i can do though is use this as a shimmer base that's what i can very much do and then the shimmers just you know stick to that as well i do have some other multi-chrome so i actually have these kind of in eyeshadows as well so i can play with that too if i want to but yeah i think that they are cute um they are not the most uh opaque ones but on the other hand it's also kind of price point because 
the ones that I have that are very nice and opaque are also very much more expensive. That's bad English, but are more expensive than these. I do like these. I think that they are nice. I think that it's very cool that they done minis. I like that a lot, but yeah, I will use them more as liners, just funky colored liners or a uh, lower lash line. That's how I love to use these. So let's go to the eyeliners just real quickly be be before I go to the eyeshadow palettes. They're nice. They're dip liners. I like dip liners. Uh, they don't bleed on me and they stay. Even the light blue one, I kind of built it up a hint, but you still can see it. But I will play with these more because yeah, I love me my dip liners. Okay, let's go to the eyeshadow palette. Then the Legend of Korra. So it's a different finishes in here. So there are, this is a super shock. This is a super shock. And I think those are the two super shock ones. The rest are a little bit more like regular shimmers. I think it's a nice formula. I think that especially I play I played here, right? I played in the bottom half. But what I felt and when I swatched them as well, the shadows are very, very nice and pigmented. But they're still blendable. And I think that's kind of it. Will I grab for this often? Maybe not. But I do like that this one has a little bit more red in it as well. That it's kind of almost like a marbled one that you can play with. What I really want to do as well is kind of a gray or smoky eye. And then that one on the lid. Because I think that that will be very pretty. Maybe even the yellow in the inner corner. Hmm. So uh, I will play with this one a little bit more but i think that the shadows overall performed very very well so yeah I, and i think i think that's that's kind of it that's kind of it i think that if you love uh, legend of Korra, that you'll um, like this collection as well if you have it let me know down below um, let's go next then to the brushes from singe so what i noticed um, <clears throat> right away is that they are a little bit as i said they're a little bit stiffer than uh, most um synthetic brushes and what do i mean by that there's a certain when you have real haired brushes there's a certain stiffness in the bristle and i sometimes miss that kind of stiffness with synthetic brushes these very much behave like real haired brushes they are very nice and soft they pick up product beautifully they move product around well and what what do i mean by that is when i kind of blend like that all the brushes that i have move product around they all do that but sometimes i grab my real haired brushes to kind of finish off blending off camera because i'm cruelty free and i don't use real hair brushes on my channel uh, but i do still have some and they kind of they pull product differently than synthetic brushes do i hope that kind of makes sense and these pull product and they distribute product product the way that real haired brushes do so out of the brushes that i have in my collection these come extremely close to how a real haired brush behaves and i mean extremely close Oh, I'm very much going to love these brushes. So I will link down below where you can find them. And I will also link Angelica's channel. If you don't know who Angelica is, she's one of my friends here on YouTube. And this is her brand. And girl, you nailed it. You did, you did such a good job with these brushes. So yeah, let me know if you got these. So I, I kind of hope that that... That was helpful. I don't know if you can hear him on camera, but I think my red cat is like, can I come into your room right now? So yeah, but he'll have to wait until I finish filming. But yeah, this that was it, guys. Uh, I really do enjoy the way that the look is looking. I enjoyed everything that I used today. And that's kind of that's kind of it for me today. So thank you so so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I will leave uh, where you can find everything down below as well. Let me know if you got any of these. And then that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'm going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you soon in a new video. Bye.